I am here with my rear dragon Dorito as you can see. Um, today we are going to be talking about mouth rot and bearded dragons. Um, if you don't know what mouth rot, mouth rot is, it's basically like, almost like tail rot, which I did a video on, um, last week, so we'll link that down in the description. Um, you want to go up here, buddy? On my shoulder. Um, mouth rot is, if you can see, basically where their mouth gets a yellowish or white around it, and a way to check for it is just to pull their gums down gently. Don't do it forcefully, just gently so it won't hurt them promise you it's not hurting him. Um, I do this once or twice a week to check, usually maybe on Monday and then Friday, just to check for if he has any yellowish or whiteness. And also, when I first cut Drudo, I wasn't as educated. I did do like six months of research, but it was just still like getting used to having actual a bearded dragon. Um, I thought that he had it because their mouth, he, he might getting a little hit their, their mouth if he won't cooperate okay their mouth already has a whitish and yellowish to end to it you can look he might not cooperate if not I'm not gonna force him to but their mouth yeah he might not I don't know if y'all can see that but their mouth already has um a yellowish whitish tint to it but I'm gonna let him go because he seems to want to run around uh, it does, but it's not gonna, it's gonna be excessive. So, like, it's gonna be a very bright, yellowish, darkish orange, not just that tint of orange that they had. And some beer dragons might not have it as much as because Dorito is like an orangish color, even though he's a normal breed or a normal morph. Um, but they also have that white around their mouth, so it's just gonna be an abnormal amount. Um, but anyways, so we're just going to look at my notes on my phone. Um, it may cause their mouth to be swollen. So if you notice their mouth is getting a little puffy, and it's not like they're puffing out their beard or anything, but it's like just a little swollen, then that may be an indicate that they do have it, and you need to take them to the vet straight away. Um, the reasons for this is basically in tail rot, you can do some like betadine and water or bath, but mouth rot, you can't really do anything besides wash out their mouth. So you just need to take them in the vet because the really only cure to mouth rot is just some antibiotics. Um, but if you don't take them in the vet and it doesn't go away and you don't fix the problem, they can die from it just because it is, is, an, inf is an infection. It's a tongue twister. Um, but because it is and it causes them not to eat as much that so they don't obviously eat, it's not good for them because they don't get that nutrition they need um, and stuff like that. Um, ways your bearded dragon can get it. Um, so, bearded dragons, if Georgia will sit, obviously eat and they chomp and stuff like that. Um, they can get little cuts in their mouth. So if they do get cuts in their mouth, that can it's fine if they do obviously don't like you see a little cut don't get oh, my beard's going to gonna get mouth rot is he gonna die it's totally fine unless they start showing signs of mouth rot that is when you need to take them to the vet and get antibiotics um they also might get tea, uh, food stuck in their teeth um so every now and then i see a little like dubia leg or a piece of lettuce in Drew's teeth and I just either take a small out my finger and just like gently I'm not gonna open his mouth but gently rub it um don't like pick at it with your nails because then that might cut it cut them don't try to like put your whole hand in their mouth just gently rub like the, your finger pad so as you can see like, just my finger pad the, my little finger where your fingerprint is just gently rub it also you can take a little small little um bristle soft bristle toothbrush and maybe rub it but i just usually rub my finger because it's smaller and it fits easier and it doesn't hurt he doesn't bite me or anything it's really just so he doesn't get that bacteria stuck and it gets old and then hurts and sometimes i'll just maybe even give him put a little syringe and get some water and then it's gone um but that's really what you need to do it's pretty mouth rot is pretty simple um, 
As you can see, Trita is pretty healthy. Um, whoa. He's got, he's going to jump. He's, nothing's wrong with him. Um, but yeah. So, ow. That's really it for Mouth Rot, I would say. Um, I just wanted to make a video on Mouth Rot because I did do Tell Rot. And so this is it. Um, like I said, you got to take them to the vet and... I wouldn't say it's as expensive as other stuff for bearded dragons for other sicknesses because it's just basically antibiotics, but they do still need that antibiotics. So that's basically it for this video. It is way shorter than Tell Rot because it's pretty simple. It's way it's not as complex as Tell Rot. Like I said, they basically just need antibiotics and I'll cure it like that. Um, if it doesn't, obviously you take them to the vet again, but. If that, that's it for this video, so if you want to like, you can. My Instagram is linked down below. Um, if you want to subscribe, and you can turn on the no notifications bell. If you want to have any questions or comments, I have been getting a lot of comments lately in my last video I did. And I just want to say thank you to all those people, and bye. You want to say bye, Dorito? Say bye.